So let's start with a crossbody lead. One, two, three, followed by what we call an open break, stepping back. So guys, you're holding on with your left. You're going to step back on one, and you're going to bring up your right arm, bringing it over her right arm. This is one. You pull her in on two, and now you step in on three. Be sure that you step in, not too far, because that will force her arm beyond her shoulder, which is not good, okay? Uh, because then it might start to hurt and too much tension. The moment that I get here, let me show it to you from this angle. The moment I get here, I place my upper arm behind her shoulder blade like this. And now what's going to happen is that, well, this hand is here touching my body and this hand is here where I actually squeezed, you see? in between each other, take a look. Like this, you can keep walking. Because basically, Vanessa is now kind of stuck between this part and this part. And as long as she cooperates, you can keep walking, okay? Now, it's a very small part. One, two, three, and actually, you finish on seven. Take a look. Five, I start walking with my right foot forward. Six, and this is the most important. Take a look what I do with my arm on seven. I give her a very slight impulse. Seven, and I step with my right foot out. That's the moment, because of this small impulse, that she will finish her connection with me, and now I can go forward on one. But because of this small impulse, what will happen is that her body will make a circular motion. Take a look. One, two, Three, step by step, five, six, and seven. And now look what happens. The moment I step towards her, I'm going to bring my left hand forward, and there she goes on one. So this actually fits with this movement. And now I can start to turn. This is actually a kind of spiral turn, but a double spiral turn. Take a look. One, two, and three. And now I'm going to do what we call a uh, scoop. The hand goes over her head, and on that moment, she's going to step with her left. We're going to step back. Take a look. Five. And guys, be sure that you stay very close. The one thing you should not start doing now, guys, on six, is to step back. Then you get in trouble. The only thing you need to do is stay in place. Six. Do you see how close we get? And now the only thing you do is this on seven. And there she comes. One, two, and three. Taking my position and turning here on five, six, seven. Okay? So it looks very complicated, but actually it's um, not that difficult. Let's go back to the basic version of the second turn. What actually happens is this. One, two, she turns, five, six, seven, and one. That's basically the turn that you make her do. The only difference is that you start turning as well. Let's do this same turn again. One, two, she turns, five, six, seven, and one. So what happens when you turn with her? One, two, three. I'm going to step back. Five, I'm going to step in place, bringing my left hand all the way down. Do you see how low the hand is? Why is it so low? Because the lower the hand, the closer she has to be with me. You see, this is six. She makes one more step, seven. And now I just have to finish one. Take a look at this. I'm actually on the side, I'm on her right side, so I step back into my line to finish here in opposite of her, and then I can finish the turn of five, six, seven. Okay, let's do it from this angle. So we're gonna start from the beginning. Cross body lead, one, two, cross, open break, and one, two, and three. We're gonna make three steps, here we go. Five, one more step, six. Guys, this is the moment, let go with your left, Give her a small impulse with your right arm, seven. Now, with your left hand, you're gonna catch her hand. You see how Vanessa is holding her hand very close to my body, so I can sense where she is. Step forward, one, bringing her away from you, so you give her the impulse for the turn. Two and three, and now guys, just step in place. Five and six and seven. Get back into your line, one, two, and turn on three. And five, six, seven, or if you want, you can let her go on six, seven. Okay, let's do it from the top without stops. And one, two, cross. Five, six, seven. One, two, three. Five, six, let go. One, two, three. Five, six, seven. One, back into the line. Five, six, seven, and one. 
Okay, from this side, five, six, we open, one, two, we walk, five, six, seven, one, two, three, back to back, and turn, finish, and one, and you can continue straight into a new crossbody lead. Ladies, it's our turn now. So get ready. We're starting with a crossbody lead. One, two, three, five, stop, seven. As soon as we're making a back step, make sure you make your back step small so your arm can be stay bent. If I make a big step, you cannot keep your arm bent. So make a small back step. So on one, we're stepping back. On two, we go forward. On three, we make contact. So your right arm has contact with your partner's body. And I'm going to do some styling with my left hand. So on three, you can bring your arm out. Then we're going for the walk, starting with our left, going further with our right, and then go to seven. Yes, so as you can see, now I did a simple styling, going out, staying out, and on seven, I bring it back again. So again, from this angle, we're going back to arm out, and five, six, seven. So there are two more options for this part styling. If you want to do a little bit more advanced styling, you can go five, six, seven, and back to the front. That's the more difficult. Or you can do an in-between styling, an intermediate styling that goes out and then go in a normal loop. So when we do the intermediate, advanced intermediate styling, it will be one, two, out on three, walk five, six, loop on seven, go back to a basic one. Yeah, so you can go out with your arm, walk till seven, and then go to a loop. Then the advanced styling, we already did it in another combination. It's out, go back to your left shoulder, bring your elbow up, and your hand is going from the back to the front. With the counting, it will be one, two, out on three, walk five, shoulder six, elbow up, and finish, go one. So the points to make care, uh, take care of are out on three, shoulder on six, and then go to the loop, loop from the back to the front. From the beginning of the combination, starting with a lead, one, Two, out on three, walk five, shoulder, and finish your styling. Now we go further in the enchufa. One, two, three. As you can see, there is a leading part on the one, so make sure that your right shoulder is going back so you can go easily to this turn. Now we go to a travel turn. Just keep stepping. We're going left, going right, going left, and basic. So this turn is a travel turn, and it means that you're not spinning in place, but you're traveling, starting from that side, traveling to the other side. We're also doing it from this side, the travel turn, on one, two, three, and travel five, six, seven, and finish on one, two, three, with a normal right turn, five, six, seven. Have fun with your styling. 